Well, during the filming of this, we kind of got the audio equivalent of being photobombed. So here my buddy's using a 7th, 8th socket to get those caps, you know, loosened off to get that center cap off. And then coming back with a 7 8 um, socket and a big ass breaker bar to just break the lugs loose. You don't want to do that shit while it's up on the jack, you know what I'm saying? So it's better just to do it, you know, while the tire's still on the ground. I wanted to get a clear picture of the jack up on the frame. We're just using the frame to lift it up far enough to get that front wheel up far enough to slide the jack under the lower control arm. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, all right, all right. I never. That's Hold on. Coming down. Plaything. Got it. Yep, yep. She ain't going nowhere. It was the only car that was worse than my Civic, as far as how safe you felt in it. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. <laughs> Now, with all the lugs loosened up, dude's just able to take them off by hand and get the tire up out of the way. And here I'm using my pinch off uh, pliers to pinch off this brake hose right here. That's so that when I take the line off, it doesn't um, leak fluid everywhere. All right. So I got this hose pinched off, 11 millimeter socket on this thing. And if you can see right there, I've got the original copper ring on this piece. I'm just going to leave it on. Can't really see the heads of these bolts, but they're um, T55 Torx bolts for the caliper. And my T55 bit's actually a half inch drive. And that's kind of how beefy it is. So I'm going to try to compress this as best I can, just to help. Uh, just to help get it off. Ready for the fun part? See the muscles. The fun part is because GM puts this fucking thread locker on these caliper bracket bolts. They can be pretty fucking tough. You alright? I think so. Oh, you got that? Easy. I'm the fucking man. You can't the other side. <laughs> I wasn't the man over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. And the reason for changing out the caliper, well, the inside pads, well, I can't even move them on the slides. The inside pads are like worn down to the rivets, tore up the rotor. And we still got like, I don't know, four mils left on the outer pad. Um, I think last time we looked at this truck, we tried to compress the caliper with a C-clamp and couldn't. Try to bang this motherfucking rotor off of here.
So it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just knock off that rust and crud off of there. It's not going to look like brand new, but that's pretty much what we're looking for. With the wheel and tire off, now is a better time than ever to go ahead and grease the front suspension since it's a lot easier this way. got this old. It's, I think this is probably like an idler pulley at one point. Well, got audio bombed again. Just using this to kind of hold the rotor in place while I keep working on it. Now these, the ones on this aftermarket caliper, they don't take the Torx bit. No. That's how they came right out of the box. Right. Just gonna pop this new bracket on. The calipers that we got came with brackets, so all good. I don't know what the torque specs are for these bolts, but I'm just going to put them on as tight as I can. Oh yeah. I mean, tight as I can, you know what I mean? That's some new hardware. Kind of a shit setup. You're just trying to get, it's kind of hard to see from the angle, but you're trying to get these seated, these four clips across here. And then this whole channel kind of fits into this big ass groove. At least on this truck right here, on the inboard pad, it has the one squealer. The outboard pad is the one that has two squealers. Just gonna take some some grief. Go in that motherfucker and right down there. And I just rub a little bit more where I know it's gonna, you know, be situated. And then do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> so this should be our last audio bomb, I guess. Just trying to get this pad placed up in the slides. And looks like there wasn't much to it. I'm just taking a little bit more grease and where they're, you know, going to be at their at rest position. I just put a little bit more on there. Squeeze them together. Good to go. <laughs> Don't know how you can take on that sprays. Yeah, just like we talked about getting burned, man. It's the same deal. Get used to it. Yep. So when I do these brakes and shit, because I don't think I've ever actually done brakes on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But I put this grease on anything that's going to be making contact. So that includes the pistons and then right on the inside of here, I mean you don't have to go crazy or nothing, just a little, a little light coating. That's just because I don't want this shit to make noise, period. You know what I mean? And if taking a couple extra seconds to put grease on everything can help 0.1% that, you know what I mean? The shit's not going to be noisy. Man, I'll take that extra time. And you got motherfuckers who's like... Shit, I'll never do that. Fuck you, you suck. You're, you're not working on the car, I am. I don't give a fuck how you do it. Our new uh, caliper bolts, they're not Torx. They're 18 mil. So if they've ever been changed, you know, there might be a good chance that you don't have Torx on yours. I don't know the Torx spec on these either. I'm just kind of just gonna just snug them up, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to go crazy tightening it, just enough that, you know, you know it's tight. Like, that's it. There's not, not really nothing crazy. 
So our new caliper came with these little copper rings. We're not using them. I just reused the old ones. I'm just gonna hit this motherfucker with some brake clean. Yeah, so the bolt goes through one copper washer, through the hose, and through another copper washer. Yeah. So I'm not going super crazy on that, but I did snug them up pretty good. I probably will throw up the real torque specs for this thing. But, like I said, I'm not going to use them. So, on this aftermarket caliper, 10 mil for the bleeder. I'm going to take my pliers off. And we could let him chill like this until the fluid starts to like drip out of there. So I went ahead and I topped off the master cylinder. I'm going to bleed this thing. Right. So what my man's going to do is he's going to push the pedal to the floor and release it like three times. And then on the fourth push, he's just going to press it and hold it to the floor. Yeah. Guys, to the floor. Oh, we got a little bit. All right, again. Try this different. Okay. You holding it? Yep. All right, pump it up. Holding it? Yep. All right, one more time. Okay. You holding it? Yep. Ah, right in the fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> now I just take this bleeder cap, put him on. Good to go. Bam. <laughs> Put all the lug nuts on it and I'll come back and finish up because I'm going back to fuck up. So, going crazy. Somewhere under there. Oh shit. Is Jay struggling? Oh shit. This fucking oil change. <laughs> he watched a video on YouTube and they said it was real fast and easy. So when my man's jacking this piece up, I'm just gonna take the jack stand out and we can torque the wheel down. Almost there. So now these lugs get tightened down to um, 140 foot pounds.
just like with my Tahoe, I'm just going to use a little chumpy wrench to get these caps tightened down. So usually after putting like new pads and new rotors, and in this case new calipers on, the way I do shit's a little bit, I guess, different than what I've seen. I mean, really, it's just get it up to like, I don't know, 25 or whatever. Lately stop. It's nice and easy. I don't know what, three times, two or three times. Nice and easy. Man, that's a fast lighter. So again, nothing crazy. Get it up to like 25, 30. Just lightly stop. Like I was reading on the internet yesterday, it was uh, what you want to do is get it up to 50 and then just stand on the brake pedal. And it's like, you might smell something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be your new pads going to <laughs> shit. Like, what the fuck, man? So we did like, I don't know, three stops from 25 to nothing. And uh, the last one will probably be up here at the stop sign. And we can just cruise like normal. That well, that that way has just has been what's worked for me. You know what I mean? And that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, now I'll just go for a ride, make sure, you know, once the brakes are hot or whatever, that they're not going to be shaking, nothing crazy. And really, you know, Another thing that I have done before with, at least with problematic cars, is just to take it back and jack up one wheel, you know, one side at a time up front in this case, and just kind of go back and forth on the wheel and just make sure the calipers are not sticking. But other than that, man, I pretty much call this a wrap. Did you yeah. tighten the wheel up? Or this would have been one suck ass fucking ride. <laughs> <laughs> Right in front of it. No. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna fall off and decapitate. Well, if you're gonna get decapitated, I'd I, I stop doing whatever <laughs> you're doing. <laughs> Women like. No, but I was pushing the jack stand underneath it. Thanks for the heads up, man. Sorry, dude. It's all good. <laughs> Come on, say something funny, man. Um, well, I think I broke your jack. What? <laughs> I think I broke your jack. Oh man. Is that funny? Actually that is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, this ended up being an expensive day for my man. And I'm needing both front rotors, pads, and calipers. Do you remember a time that we changed the oil on something? And then I had like a pan like that. And I poured the pan into like a big five gallon bucket. But unknowns to me. There's a hole in the bucket. There was a hole. You remember that shit? I remember that. I don't know what it was all, but I do remember that. I remember that shit. That was crazy. I was like, what the fuck do I do? And I like panicked. <laughs> it was like, yeah, not that. Not what you were doing.